All right, everybody, welcome to our broadcast. So I'm Trevor, and we're covering some Volusion training today. Um, I actually want to talk a little bit about the homepage and the way we should design a homepage briefly, but more importantly, well, I don't know about more importantly, but more specifically, how to add content to your homepage and why that's important. So let's just talk about just some critical elements of a homepage, okay? Um, on this test site, that you're looking at right now, there's there's three musts that are already here, okay? So let me circle the first one. I'm gonna put my pen in orange right now. This right here at the very top of the site, this is what we refer to as like the header or the logo area. Now it doesn't necessarily need to be in the middle. It could be over here at the left and often is over here at the left. But bottom line is that's an essential element of a site. You have to have kind of a logo or a header area. And usually it's it's whatever your .com is, right? So www.whatever.com, your .com is up there with some kind of a logo or header, or whatever, okay? So that's element number one. Element two is this right here. Most more modern website design has some, some kind of a, what we call a slider or um, you know a banner even <laughs> let me apologize for the handwriting I'm writing with my mouse which is actually a lot harder than it looks so slider or the banner that's that's number two this is number one right here okay so you gotta have something that you know a good slider or a, a banner is gonna showcase your product or it's gonna showcase the benefits of your product if I'm selling uh, camping supply, I might show a family that's sitting out, you know, at a fire or, around, or in their tent or, you know, around the campsite. You show people using the goods or using the products and, and showcasing more of the benefit. It could, it could the banner right there could showcase um, sales or discounts or uh, other seasonal information. But bottom line is you got to have a banner. And, you know, you can have multiple, you can have a sliding banner, but that's important element number two, okay? Element number three, let's scroll down on this page. A homepage needs some featured products. So in this case, this kind of defaults to three, but I'm going to say uh, this is your, you know, your featured products area. Now, how many featured products? I don't know. I mean, I would say three at a minimum, maximum of whatever, 10, 12. I mean, you could do more than that, but I think three is a good minimum to have there. Um, you can test out having more, but you really should have some um, some featured products on your home on your homepage. Now, I'm not talking about any of these in any real detail today. I'm not going to go over the logo in detail, the banner, the featured products. I've got other trainings for that. Instead, I want to talk about this last element. So element number four here, which by the way, I should probably write these out in some, out in some notes for you guys. Let me bring up uh, a little notepad. Hold on just a sec, I gotta delete this out. Yeah, holy cow, I'm having a pro problem getting all this out. Hold on, almost got it. There's a really long article in here that I was counting the characters on a little bit ago. Okay. All right, so we're going to call this uh, key elements of a homepage. One, we said logo or header. Two, we said a banner or I, I think we also called this uh, a slider. Three, we said featured products. And four is what I wanna focus on today. Um, content, you know, or text slash images. Okay, uh, you know, homepages these days, more for maybe an SEO standpoint, 
But sometimes for a, a, a UI standpoint or even just a plain usability standpoint, you need some content. You need some text on the on the site. And there's different ways to do that. A lot of times I get clients who are like, hey, I just want to have a few paragraphs kind of explaining what my site's about and what I offer. How do I put that on a home page? Um, well, there's a couple of different ways to do it. Okay. Well, let me show you way number one. If I want to add some content to my home page, I could go to the dashboard first. Okay. So we're looking at the dashboard right now. And I could go to, oh, I'm sorry. Actually, let me log back in. I thought I was at the dashboard. Okay. So we're going to go dashboard. And I'm going to go um, design and then site content. Okay. So dashboard, design, site content. All right, so here I am. I'm in the site content. This is really a list of all the all the text and, and a lot of the pages on my website. Um, well, if I scroll down here, scroll, scroll, scroll. I think you have to go down quite a ways. Yeah, right here. I'm going to circle this so you guys can kind of see. But this right here, below featured products. Or above featured products. Now we just established a minute ago we've got these feature per, featured products on our site, right? Well, these two options right here, I can either put content in in uh, section two, and it'll put content above those featured products, or I can put it in section seventy one, which will put content below those. I'll show you how that works. So I'll click on 71 here, okay? So again, dashboard, um, design, and then site content, and then find number 71, and that brings you here. So it, gives me a, it actually gives me a spot where I can write out some content under article body right here, okay? Um, I come in here and type, this is a paragraph. I could repeat that over and over again just to give this some content, right? Here's my paragraph of content. Maybe I'm going to put in a little heading right here. What makes our website so great? And I could highlight this and I could bold it and you know, maybe I want to increase the size like that. See, I, this is, it works like a word processor right here. So I could create this content and then I can save it. Okay. And then once saved, I can go out and view the site and then look right here. Here's our featured products area. And then here's my content I just added right here. That was number 71 in my site content. Now, if I wanted this paragraph to show up above my featured products, I could have done that, right? I think it was item number two. If I would have put it in item number two, that piece of content would have gone right here. Okay. By the way, I know I'm on a different template right now. But we've got a, like we're talking about here, we've got a logo here. We've got our banner right here. Our featured products is in the same spot. Featured products here, right? And then we've got content right here. Now again, guys, why do we need this content? And do we need this content, this, this text content that I just put down? Optional, something we have to have? What do you guys think? Could I just go with a logo, banner, and featured products on the home page? Sure, I could. There's no problem with that. We design a lot of websites in our office that, that have just those three components. 
But if you do want to add uh, content to your homepage, it's very simple to do. So I just showed you the first way to do it. Let me show you the second way. By the way, I'm going to go edit this out. Let me go pull that that content out. Um, so I'm going to go just going to just to show you guys this whole process again. I'm going to go to design site content. And I'm going to scroll down this list and I'm going to find number 71, which is where I put this stuff. Uh, there's 71 right here. I'm going to click on 71 there in the left-hand column. And then I can just delete this out. And then make sure, before you forget, come up here and save. Okay, so I save and then I'm done. And that that's deleted out. Okay, so that's one way to do it. The other way that's kind of cool, and I've showed this to a few of you guys before. Let me refresh the screen. Okay, so that's gone now. And I want you to look really closely with me. You have to use a spectacular set of eyes to see this on your side because I know this. it's hard for me to see even on my computer screen. But do you guys see this sort of dotted rectangular box right there and right there? Can you guys see that at all? It's a it's a dotted rectangular um, rectangle. <laughs> That's redundant, but you get you get my point. It's a rectangular box. You guys can see that. Okay. Now. We're on edit mode, okay? So that's why that's showing up. If I weren't logged in as an admin, that wouldn't show up, by the way. So don't let that box bother you. But the reason that, why that box is there is, uh, some of you may have noticed this, but there's this, this black box right here that I can click on that takes me to the content builder. And I don't know how much you guys have used this, but you can scroll down and you can add these different content elements, right? So say I wanted to add some content and I didn't want to do it the way I just showed you guys, but I wanted to scroll through here and just pick something that I kind of like the look of. So I don't know, we could look at... Uh, This one's kind of cool. So I'm going to I'm going to click on this and I'm going to drag it. So I'm holding my click right now. I can either drag it into this bottom box or into this top box. You know, depending on where I want it to show up on the side. I'm going to do it on the bottom for now. Drag it there. And then boom, just like that, I've got this really great looking content here that I can customize. This one's kind of pre-built. It's called our services, but you know, maybe you could change this to what makes our products so great, right? Or whatever. And then, um, you know, you could say quality right here. And you could say, we only sell the most top quality gear, etc. right? And then also, you know, we have this great, you know, return policy. You know, our return policy is 30 days, money back, et cetera, right? So you could write out this content. It's already, it's already sort of built out for you. You can even change these little icons. So for quality, I could click on the little heart here, and it'll bring up all kinds of little icons that I could use, right? Whatever I felt like I wanted to use for quality. You know, I don't know what what that would be smiley face right so i got a smiley face there return policy um something we could use for returns maybe um you know maybe this little uh stopwatch looking thing okay so like you could you can create you've got all this pre-formatted content you don't have to be some great designer to do. You just know how to point and click and change some of this stuff that's already been created. Well, let's say in the end, I'm like, ah, I don't really like this content. I can come right here where I just circled and I can click on the little X right here on the far right. And I can, I can delete this piece of content that I'm working on right now. 
if I decide that I don't want it, I'm going to click on that and it deletes it out. Are you sure you want to delete this block? Okay, yes, I do. Maybe I want something different, right? Maybe I like this kind of preset look. So I'm going to drag it in right here. And I get this pre preset looking content. Um, I could change this photo pretty easily. I just click on it, click on the little photo option right here. And then I could load in a photo of my own. I can change any of this. I can change the icons. So you see how you can add content to your site that's already pre-built and looks nice. You just got to sort of edit it a little bit. There's other ones too. These are kind of cool. These are uh, pricing plans, ass assuming you're doing a site that's doing like a service or something. Pricing plans right here. It's kind of cool. I'm going to scroll down for other things. Maybe, oh, I don't know. Maybe a portfolio one. Right, maybe this is some sort of a site that'll show a portfolio. Anyway, you get the point. There's preset content you guys can use to spruce up your homepage right here. Now, somebody said it earlier, and I think it was, Lori, you said it. Um, sometimes adding content to a homepage can be beneficial from a search engine perspective. Uh, it can help your search engine rankings a little bit if it's uniquely written and well done. So it doesn't hurt to have written text content on your homepage in case you're wondering. But this this content builder, uh, is is just really slick. It's got some cool formatting that you can put together to make your site look like this content you're adding isn't just a dry block of text like we did originally, which is okay too, but you can really create some cool looking stuff here. I could change each of these images if I wanted. You know, you can really have some fun with this. Is it 100% necessary? No. As long as you have a logo, a banner, and some featured products, you're good. But this is a really nice benefit. So hopefully, guys, now that you've seen that, you can say to yourself, all right, if I needed to, and if I wanted to add some content to my homepage, I could do it, either by doing this or going into site content. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, good luck on your guys' homepages, and uh, we'll see you guys next time for more Volusion training. I'll see you soon.